Hey guys, Slindy here for BF Nations to talk about why Fortnite is better than Battlefield. I mean to talk about some of the things happening the past month in the Battlefield community. During the last month, we haven't had too many things happening in the Battlefield community and I think this is for good reason. With Battlefield 1 being pretty much at the end of its life cycle and Battlefield 5 only being a couple of months away, it's safe to say that the devs are busy working on the next game. In June, we did have EA play for a couple of days over in LA and some different things were covered from that event. For example, they revealed that Battlefield 5 will have a Royale mode, although that mode does not seem to be something they want to implement from the launch. But among other things happening at EA Play, we found out through interviews with EA slash DICE employees that the EA competitive gaming division does have some pretty amazing plans. And with a new game coming out so soon, plus the plans from the EA competitive gaming powerpoint, this definitely makes sense. So far though, we can only speculate exactly what these plans are. At EA Play, we not only saw, but got to try out playing Battlefield 5, which proved to involve some seriously good mechanics that could potentially be used in competitive play. Following this, we a few weeks later saw the closed alpha for Battlefield 5, where players were randomly sent invitations through the EA marketing mails inbox or were luckily to quote unquote win a key to redeem from a giveaway or from a competition. A lot of players seem to suffer from what I call the I was not invited to the closed alpha syndrome and in all honesty EA and DICE had this set to a closed alpha and not an open one for a reason. They didn't want it to be a huge test but a smaller one to get some community feedback on a more controlled scale. That being said, if you have not been able to play Battlefield 5 yet, you will have your chance very soon. There will be an open beta happening very soon which should be available on all platforms except for GameCube maybe. But anyway, this month has again been pretty dry, but do make sure to revisit the series next month once we can provide you with some more useful information about things happening in the Battlefield community. In order to do this, just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, thank you. Since you got this far into the video, why not leave the word Kalas Byxor at the end of your comment and we will all see how many people made it this far into the video. Until the next video though, I am President Slendy and I wish you a fine day.